Hello YouTube, today we're going to be making, or I'm going to show you how to make a texture for a police car in Grand Theft Auto 5. I'll show you how to resize your template, drop shadows, oblique work letters, so they, they lean one way or the other, how to resize your, t your template, and all the relevant download links you're going to need. So today we are going to be making... Your clip, we don't want it. Sorry, we're going to be making this one Stuart Police, the yellow and blue one. So we can right click, open that with paint.net, get that open first, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Now we're going to get a template. So we will be using this one, template 3. Net. So we can uh, get rid of that and if that's a bit. Right now you'll notice down here it says 2048 by 2048. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna resize it. So one of those image resize. I'm gonna convert that to 4096 by 4096. There we go. Resizing and there we go. So we're now going to add a new layer, and now we're going to fill the layer with colour. But I don't want to be, don't want it white. I'll go silver. There we go. So we go to our little paint bucket icon, and just left click once, and there you go. So we're now going to come down to properties, click on properties take the opacity all the way down to zero. Back to our layers. We'll add another new layer. There we go, I'm gonna go back to our original image. And this is when I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna left click on this icon here, we to rectangle select. I'm gonna left click and hold drag it all the way across just to the bottom of the wheels okay now while that's selected I'm gonna go to here click copy go back to our original and click paste and there we go so now we are going to resize this so we'll go back to here to properties take the opacity down slightly I'm now going to drag this to fit our template it doesn't have to be precise it just has to be more or less let's get that out the way Resizing. Okay, so that's roughly. Yep, okay, there we go. Let's just pull this down a bit more. Yep, okay, there we go. So we'll go back up here, left, left click, deselect, and our pitch is still there. So what we're now going to do is we're going to get this yellow and this blue. So we go to our colour picker, select it, we'll click the yellow there, and go here, swap colours, and click on the blue. So there's our two colours. So we'll start with we'll start with the blue, I think. So we'll get that out of the way. Move that up there. Select our lines. Go back up. Add a new layer. And we'll start. So 
select all line select all line width now you can do this up and down manually or you can hover over it left click and just select the width with the mouse wheel so we leave it as at about five so I'm going to start here and work my way to the back there so there left click and hold to there and you'll notice we've got four dots or as I call them anchor points dot 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 hover over this one left click and hold and drag the line go back to this one left click and hold drag the line Now we'll go down here and we'll click just outside the edge of the wheel arch. We'll click left click, hold, drag that to the always make sure your lines touch for reasons which will become clear later. I'll left click and hold just a line left, left click and hold just a line that's roughly right okay so there's the top line done so what we're going to do because it hasn't got a bottom blue line We'll left click and hold here. Drag it across and just put it anywhere there. And we'll just just something like that. That'll do. Doesn't have to be precise because we're not going to see this. And you can zoom in. And again, always make sure your lines touch. zoom out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and we can yeah we can put it to there Remember just outside the line of the template there's that that remember it's always left click and hold so now we go into the front wheel arch and we'll join them two lines together now you don't have to do this but it just makes it neater I always like to draw it to the shape of the wheel arch there you go and you can click finish up there or you can just click anywhere on the screen and it'll finish now we go back to our <laughs> paint bucket tool all the lines are touching which they are and you can click anywhere it's inside the lines you've just drawn now you'll notice that these marks appear so don't finish it go to your tolerance and increase it to about 68 percent or until those marks disappear it's usually around 68 percent there you go, 69, that'll do. And finish. So now, we have that blue line. So what we're going to do now is go back to properties. Take the opacity down on that one just slightly. Click OK. We'll add another layer. Select our line. 
go over to this swap colors the little arrow there click on that so we're now going to be using the yellow our line selected now we're going to draw in the flames it looks like so right now we're in a new layer so we'll go start here and we'll go outside again just outside the edge of the template and we'll go to here just just on the edge of the door there just that'll do left click and hold as usual left, left click and hold on the anchor point and just make small adjustments until it fits the shape or you're happy with it so okay so we're happy with that and remember you can click finish or just click anywhere on the screen and we'll go to here again just outside the lines we'll join it to that line there Drag that up, and we'll drag that up to there, like so. Should bring that off just a little bit more. Okay. Now we can finish that line. Now we'll reduce our line's width slightly so we can get a sharp point on the flames keep our line selected zoom in start at the point on the flame left click and hold drag it just outside the edge of the template okay. and hold yep okay now we'll go to this one well this one's got a bit of a funny shape to it so do that do that left click and hold this is actually the boring part so let's see how we're getting on there so we can't actually see behind there obviously because of the the police sign so we'll we'll improvise there for the moment because we're going to put the word police in anyway so that's obviously got a drop shadow in we can put that there like that and we can do curve that there curve that there now feel free any time in the video to stop pause go back or even just draw along with me now what we're going to do is we'll click on the yellow line itself We'll increase our line depth width back to five. And we'll click just about here. Left click and drag. Uh, left click and hold. Sorry. And we'll put that to there. And then what we'll do? And if you follow this tutorial step by step, there's absolutely no reason on this green earth why your texture won't come out looking exactly the same as this. Just 
Make sure you cover the edge of the blue. Okay, so I'll go back here. Make sure the lines touch. Again, you don't have to shape it, but I just prefer to. Right, okay, so. I'll put this one in, just because. I'll just do this one very quickly. To there. That curve. Now to there. A little bit of that curve. Okay, so now that's that part of the design done. Go to our paint bucket, fill that in, and obviously because we drew that second, we we'll have to fill that in as well. So there you go. There's that. So back to our line tool. Bring that up to three. This for this one. Start there, up to that line, shape it. No, I've never done this texture before, so I have no idea how this is going to look in game. So, if it looks crap, you'll have to just bear with me. But this is just a general tutorial on creating a texture. Um, I mean, you've probably seen loads of tutorials on the subject, but the ones I've seen literally last about two or three minutes, and you constantly pause and going back and going, eh? what, what, what the fuck did he do there? Maybe pardon my language, but I want to take it through, take you through it step by step. So you can pause it and go, ah, so that's how he does that bit. Um, now we go from there. As I say, the the longer you take doing them, um, you know, will depend on your your result. That's quite a long one, that one. So we go from there. Up to there like that. Up to there like that. Up to there like that. And then it's basically what well looks like just a straight line, but I will have a look. I'll increase the opacity in that just so I can have a quick look. Yeah, it's basically just a straight line, I think. So all the way back to the top. I'll show you a little trick I always use just to save time. So we don't have to draw the same thing out all over again. So we'll like that. I'll put another little flame in. Very quickly, just that. Uh, and then just to the edge outside the black line and then we'll connect these two together like so and we'll have a look go back to our paint bucket tool fill that in yeah that looks funky And now we'll just do this one line over the top there. So we'll start. Start from there. Make our way all, all the way to the back. Up 
left click and hold, bend our line, or curve our line, left click and hold, curve our line. Do you want to the same shape as the blue one? Near enough. Yeah, that'll do for there. And I'll start just on the edge of the blue. In fact, what I'll do is I'll finish that line and increase our line depth or width, should I say. And we'll drag it. It does go quite slow, as you can see, when it's zoomed zoomed in. I'll click that and put that just on there. And what we're trying to do is just trying to cover the edge of the blue with the yellow line. You don't have to do blue and yellow, you can do any colour you want to do. Pink and white if you want to. But I'm just following this just because. As I say, I've never done this texture before, so... But yeah, they look okay. So we'll zoom in. Just got that little curve. Okay, so. Fill this in with our paint bucket tool. No, nope, because I've done something wrong, because I'm an idiot. And what I forgot to do was join these two lines together. So, join these two lines together. And now we can fill. Right, there we go. So now what we're going to do... Oh, there's another yellow line. Trust me to pick an awkward one to do a tutorial with. Okay, so just give me a sec, we'll just draw this line in. I'll do that on all. Just just so it covers the top edge of the blue. Again, left click and hold just so it covers the top edge of the blue. Yep, looking good. Okay, so that looks looks okay. Okay, so there we go. Right, now what we're going to do is, because that's our pattern, it's a bit elaborate, but that's our pattern, I'm going to merge layer 5 down to layer 4. So there we go. Now, layer 3, I'm going to disable just going to turn that off just for a sec. Go back to layer 4, increase the opacity back up. Now up, there we go. And there you have it. There's our blue and our yellow. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our rectangle select, left click, come over to the back of the car, left click and hold draw a box over what we've just drawn ok, release left click go up to here, copy left click and immediately paste the image again over the top now this little icon here means we can move the image 
it's these dots like the lines mean we can resize it shape it flatten it out and all that good stuff so we're gonna left click and hold drag this up so you know so it's identical on both sides get this side drag it around so it flips it place it put it in place drag it over now we are gonna have to move it obviously but So we will now let's have a look that looks That looks roughly okay. Okay, so we'll deselect that. Deselect layer three. We can delete all together because we no longer need it. So highlight layer three. Delete layer. Go back to layer four and merge the layer down into layer two. So then this graphic will go on the silver background. So there we go and let's just have a look. There we go. So we go back, add the new layer. So what we want to do now is we don't need them colours anymore unless you want to keep them. If you do want to keep your colours, open up the box, hit them all, left click once on the little green cross and left click again it will place it in your colour palette. Do the same with the blue, left click once the little green arrow, drag it across, put it in your colour palette. Okay, so now we're going to need black. I'm going to select this, shapes, we're going to go to this icon, click it once, and it'll now fill this any shape we draw. So we want to go to here, which is the back face of the car. So this will be the trunk or boot lid, this is the back bumper, this is where the license plate goes. So what we're going to do because on most police crown victorias these are black we'll fill this in with black just like that and that's all we need to do to that so I'm going to merge that layer down make a new layer and we shall ok let's do the word police I'm going to put police, you can put sheriff, my car, anything you want. But I'm going to stick with you know, good old fashioned police. Uh, I think I'll use the Euro Wide Heavy font. It's a free download font. Increase our text size. To I usually go 288, that's the biggest one, but you can put it in manually in like 500. And your letters come out 500 pixels tall but that's just a bit too big as you can see so we go back to 288 so what we're going to do now is we'll go back we'll reselect our blue Now what we're going to do is, we're going to give the word two different colours. We're going to fade the yellow, fade the yellow into the blue. So we'll click on this, which is the magic wand. Let's get that back to 50. We'll click on any one of the letters. So we'll click on it. Then you'll notice only the L is highlighted. So we go up to here, 
to this little bulb icon. So click on that and there you go. So now we're going to click on here, gradient, and we're going to have the yellow run through the middle of the letters and then fade to blue, top and bottom. So we'll click on this linear reflected, click on that, swap the colours over. Here we go, left click and hold. select and there we go now we're going to click select the black because we want to put an outline so we're going to go to effects object outline object and there we go we have a small black outline but that's not big enough so we're going to increase the depth or the width of the outline to yeah about six press ok there you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our rectangle select. Again, this is to save time. Otherwise we'll be here all night. We've already been here 31 minutes already. Highlight the word police and just click copy and then deselect. Reasons will become apparent. Alright, so back to object. Drop shadow. Again, the link for this will be in the description. Sorry. Effects, object, drop shadow. So, we don't want a blurry shadow unless you want one. So, we'll take the blur radius straight down. Offset Y moves it up and down. Takes it back to zero. Offset X moves it side to side. So we're going to have, we'll decrease the widening radius as well. So we're going to move offset X just to yeah, about 15 and offset Y we're going to move to the right. So it's like that. Yeah, let's have a look at the widening radius. That'll do. Okay, there's our drop shadow. Now what we want to do is outline it again in the same shade as the police car. Or the same shade as the paint job's going to be. So we'll right click layer 2. We'll colour pick our tool. We'll select the grey. Go back to layer 3. Effects object, outline object, now you'll notice it's in black but if we pr press this tool here it goes back to your primary colour which is the grey, so there you go, right. put up that to 7, there you go, now we're going to give the, the word a backward slope so we'll go to our rectangle select or well the shortcut key is S but I don't use the shortcut keys so we'll highlight in fact no we don't need to highlight sorry because it's on a separate layer but we'll go to effects distort oblique now this one top one moves it side to side which is the only one we're going to use this one goes up and down, but we're not going to use that one. I don't usually touch the steps factor because all that does is it, just increases 
the slope so we're going to step this back because we're going to have our words follow the flow of the pattern which is flowing backwards so we're going to step this back to about 25 now the detail levy the detail level if we left that as it was now okay we'll just render that in let me zoom in you see the jagged edge oh we don't want that jagged edge so we'll go we'll go back we'll go back to our object oh, idiot distort oblique there we go now detail level all the way up to five now this will take uh, a minute to render so I'm going to pause it and come back when it's at about 99% okay here we are now that's all done we can zoom back in and the lines aren't as jagged or the softer than what they were so now what we're going to do we're going to resize the word so left click and hold select our rectangle select tool and then we're just going to click on this move selected pixels so we're going to resize this so we'll squeeze that to about there close that into about there and just keep resizing it until you're happy so I'm happy with about that so I'm going to zoom it in and we're going to get the word to follow this part of the template which is the trim on the doors so we'll just right click and hold it allows you to pivot it ok so we're, I'm, I'm happy with just about just about that let's bring that in because it's on the door handle to about there ok deselect I remember at the start of the word where it copied through the word police so I'm going to merge that layer down and create a new layer I'm going to click on paste pink and there you go so effects drop shadow now what we're going to do now is move the offset X to plus 15 plus 15 ok effects distort oblique I'm going to move the oblique to plus 25 detail level all the way up and again I will come back because mine takes a couple a minute or so to render so I will pause the video and I will come back again at 99% oops my fault I forgot to re-click pause at 99% but well it's all the same so rectangle select no we're not effects outline object in the grey again ok press ok right. rectangle select highlight left click move selected pixels which is the arrow left click and hold drag it down now back to resizing again so about there about there right click and hold and again we'll just keep resizing until we're happy so yeah I'm happy with that okay. yep I'm happy 
do it that. Deselect. Move the layer down. Now, let's have a look what that looks like. There we go. It's not great. You know, I'm not really happy with the, the colours of the word police, but it's only a tutorial, so you can make them any colour you want. Okay, so this obviously isn't going to be a Stuart police. This is going to be Los Santos police, so I can delete that because we don't need that. Uh, so very quickly, make a new layer, decrease our letter size. I'm going to use a different font. Um, yeah, let's go with the good old serpentine bold. Los Santos. And we'll put that on the door there. But first of all, we're going to object, outline object. We're going to outline this in black. I'm going to decrease the width of the outline. Rectangle select. Left click and hold. Highlight. Left click on the arrow. Make it nice and squidgy. So. Right, what we're going to do is first, I'll merge that layer down. What we're going to do is we're going to put the word police on the back there. So we can create a new layer, paste, there's the word police. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the word police curve in an arc that way, so it fits across the trunk lid. So we'll go to, we'll deselect that, go to Effects, Object Align, Center Both, put it in the center of the, the page, Effects, Distort, Tube Oblique, this one moves it side to side, this is the one we want, up and down. We will take it up to about 50. See what happens. Okay, I'll let that render in. There we go. Okay. Quality level up to 5. Okay. And again, I will be back in a sec. Okay. So now that's done. I'll see what it's like with the drop shadow in. Drop shadow. We'll reset that to zero. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Again, left click. Hold. Highlight. We've selected pixels, move them up to the trunk. I'm gonna decrease the size of this to actually quite it's actually quite small. And there we go. Okay, so there we go, that's that done. Yep, so now we can merge that layer down, create a new layer. Everything is about creating new layers, merging layers down. It does get a bit time consuming, but it's a necessary evil. 
Okay, so we're gonna go to layer two. And this Los Santos that we done. In fact no, no it won't. I'll leave that as is. I'll just retype it. It'll take me longer. Object. Outline object. Okay. Remember, if you want to adjust the up and down angle, it's right click and hold. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's move over slightly a bit more. What we're going to do is we're going to add a badge to the front wing or fender or whatever they call it. We call it a wing in England. To there. That's going to be an image that I've previously made. So I'm not going to bore you with making that because we're already 46 minutes in. And that's literally all we've got done. But, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So I'm just going to quickly go and get a badge. Sheriff's office. Don't want to share this office. Where's my badges? Um, skins, badges, here we go. Okay, so sheriff's department. We don't want sheriff's department, we want police. That's Liberty Police. Liberty Police. There's a theme going here Liberty Police, Liberty County Sheriff, Liberty Highway Patrol. Liberty City Police. There's got to be a badge in here somewhere for Los Santos. I'm pretty sure I've made one. That's LA. Police officer. I might as well use. No, there you go. We'll use this one. This one I made earlier. So, right click. Copy. Get rid of that. New layer. Add a new layer. Paste. Drag it over. The best thing about making these textures is 1496 by 1496 is when you've got something like this and you need to resize it, it doesn't pixelate out as much, it still retains its uh, most of its detail which is quite good so we'll put that there then what we'll do is we'll deselect it effects object nearly effects, object outline object outlined in black but we don't want that, we want it outlined in grey Okay, then triangle select, go back over it, copy, immediately paste, drag it down and put it on this one. Let's try and get them. Just about like that. Okay, so we'll mint that down. Now I'm gonna add quickly gonna add just a roof number, a couple of license plates, and just down nine one one on the back there. So for the roof number I'll go image rotate ninety degrees clockwise. Uh, we'll have it in black. And I always, for numbers, roof numbers, I always use a font called Impact. Because it's just easier. All the way up to 288. And just any number um, 31, that'll do. Now it doesn't really matter about putting this on a new layer. Because we just, it's just text. 
So we'll put that there. Try and get it as in the middle of them two lines as possible, so it doesn't look odd. That loop. Image. We'll take counterclockwise 90 degrees. Now let's add a new layer. Pictures. Pictures. Look at that. That couldn't be any more perfect there, could it? So what we're going to do is we're going to open this image with paint on it. We're going to get rid of this white background. So what we're going to do is magic wand. Left click. Now this is where your tolerance comes into it. Left click and hold and adjust the tolerance till just the outline. Right, so it's round the outline and then we're gonna hit delete on your keyboard and it'll delete all the outside edge and leave you with a checkerboard pattern. Just like that. So we'll left click oh, rectangle select highlight copy onto a new layer, yeah paste drag and drop. Now that's actually not a bad size but I'll make it a little bit smaller anyway. There you go, 911 emergency. And we'll put it there. Right. Copy that image, paste it, so it's the same size, and we'll put that there like that. Okay, so deselect. Right, and we will find our Liberty City. No, we won't. We'll find our CA exempt license plate. Copy. Paste. Drag it over to the license plate. Now, if this was in the original format that license plate would be this size but because it's not and we want more detail so drag that over to there get grab the corner and just drag it down to fit if you want to get it the right size adjust the opacity opacity however you say it so about there I know I'm waffling on a bit guys but you know you have so many questions <laughs> copy paste like how did you do this when you made this skin how did you do that when you made that skin how long does it take here it only took me this long now which is just under an hour at the moment it only took me this long because I'm doing it step by step slower time now we can make that layer down. This type of texture would take me usually about 20 25 minutes start to finish. Okay, so there we go. Let's just have a couple of little more details. Just another number. New layer, we don't need it that big. What's on 31? So 31. We'll put that there. Again, 31. And we'll put that there. Again, I've no idea how this is going to look on the car because I've never actually made this texture before. Okay, so we can make that layer down now. There you go. Now, th this is important. Click your properties, bring your opacity all the way back up. Click OK. Now we're going to save it to put it in game. Make the layer down. Go in the corner to file. Save as. Now if you've made the layer down it should automatically save it. We'll just save it to our desktop. It should save it as a PNG image portable network graphics. It's always got to be saved to a PNG image otherwise it won't work. And we will call it one of them all grey. 
save ok saving done that's the texture made that's done ok so we can don't need to save that so here we go we're going to put it on a police car there it is there so Grand Theft Auto 5 my police car is in my mods folder so it's going to be edit mode texture dictionary cvpi sign one replace it's in my desktop so it'll be grey double left click there it is which is sort of yep there it is save Uh, and because it's this and it's awkward, where's the other one? Texture. Replace. Great. Save. Oh, let's have a look. Fragment object. There it is. So, I will see you in game. Okay, guys. We shall now go and check to see what our newly drawn texture looks like. So, I'm just going to cheat and use a trainer. Vehicle, car spawner. With this trainer, the police cars are usually on page 14. So, we'll scroll to page 14. There we go. And there it is. There is the texture you've just created, or we've just created. So let's go and see what it looks like. Well, let's go and see what it looks like clean. Skip the bottom bit. Wow, sexy, sexy, sexy. There it is. Hey, what's happening? Yeah, that's right. There's our number, 31. There's our curved police. There's our SA exempt license plates. There's our cool flame texture. Wow, sexy. Let's go and take this baby for a run. If I remember, I'll also leave a link to this police car as well. Just want to think on if any of you people have seen the film Collateral. You will notice that taxi. I made that texture uh, about, about a week ago, and I've also got a another video from Grand Theft Auto 4 using that very same texture on a on a taxi in Grand Theft Auto 4. I can't wait till they bring out the ELS for Grand Theft Auto 5. So, you guys from LuxArt, if you are happen to be watching it, you know, get your fingers out, guys. Also, if anyone knows how to brighten up the the light bars there on the police cars, uh, leave a comment. Leave a link in the dis in the comments box. It'd be very much appreciated because they are quite dull. Let's 
see what it's like of a night. Night time. See, they don't look too bad of a night, just a, of a day. They look a bit. Not much even there, they look a bit dull. So, guys, that was my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. Unlike me, you still can't drive. Uh, yeah, hope you learned something new. Any comments or questions, you know where to put them in the comments box. Give us a like. Give us a sub subscribe. Not forcing you, not twisting your arm. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's a free country, free world. You can do what you want. But if you want to see me make do another tutorial on making a different texture for a proper city then again leave a comment where they should go um, thanks for watching I'm now gonna go and well, I'm just gonna go and create havoc so thanks guys enjoy